Kiosk. Hi. So around the country, um, more and more shelters are putting focus into how how do we save lives. So initially it was, how do you beef up adoptions? Um, how do we welcome people to our shelter? Can we start volunteer programs? Um, start vol uh, foster programs, things like that, where you, you, know, you don't have enough space in the shelter, so you start utilizing foster homes in the community. Um, and that was a, that, those were the big pushes in the beginning, and then it started to be, okay, we have to look at more, how do we keep animals out of the shelter? So now we, we need to really focus and put money towards spaying and neutering, um, microchipping, having IDs on these animals so that all these lost animals or stray animals that are coming in, hopefully we can reunite them um, with the public. A lot of things that we do, it was just a change of mindset and philosophy and mission, it, you know, just to, to look at things differently and to realize there's other possibilities to make things better. And then it became where, okay, now you have to put money behind it. Each year we've gone up a little more, a little more. We have more support from our community. We have more foundations that are involved with our organization now and giving us larger grants, um, which is unbelievably and ha has made a tremendous difference having so much support because it clear the more money we're getting in, everything that we raise goes right back into our animals that year and that has shown amazing results. We're trying to help spread the word that it is possible um, you can do it, and, and the more you get your community involved, the more the government is going to see that their citizens want to see a better shelter. They want to see lives saved. Um, they want to see, uh, especially if you're a city shelter, their taxes put to good use. Um, and so I think it is, it, it's a, a huge movement, and the more we talk about it and share the successes, the, the more we'll be a, a humane society. Hey.